This is code.org. What do we have here? Curve. The plane is going up to avoid the first spike, but it flies off screen. In the draw loop, update its y velocity so that it pulls down to avoid the second spike. All right. Y. Update the y velocity. Oh, yeah. In the draw loop so that it moves the plane down. Hint, the velocity starts as a negative going up. To go down, what direction should the velocity be? And it starts as a negative going up because the top for y is zero. You can see with my mouse looked way down here, zero. And the bottom way down here, if I can get there, is 400. So if I want to go up and I'm starting at 400, I would have to subtract to get to zero. So to go up, we subtract. Now to go down, that would mean we add. But how is it going at a diagonal? That's this thing right here. We're not just going up, we're going over 3. We're not going to mess with that, but that's how. The velocity for x is 3. All right, so I want to add some code to do a counter pattern. And again, I want to change whether it's going up or down, so I'm going to use the velocity y. As we just discussed, what happens if you want to go up? If 400 is here and 0y is here, you need to subtract. So let me go ahead and do subtract. And I'm going to need to use sprite.y, sprite.y. All right. So I don't have a sprite. What do I have? I have a plane is what we want to move. So I'm going to do plane. Plane is my variable. Plane.velocity y is equal to plane.velocity y minus, I'm not sure how much. I might start with 1. Let me see what its original velocity is. Its original velocity is 9. So 1 is a lot. Let's do 0 0.3 maybe to start. N nope. Oh, I need to add. What am I doing? So we don't want to go up. We want to go down. So what I said is correct. To go up, you would add. However, we're already going up. We need to go down. So, I mean, to go up, you would subtract. To go down, you would add. Right? You need to subtract to go up because it's zero. To go down, you add. So we were already going up. Now we're going down. That looked too quick. Barely made it. What would two five look? That's pretty good. So what we're doing here, keep in mind, is the draw loop runs 30 times a second. 30 times a second, what's happening? We black out the back, we blew out the background light blue. Watch what happens. If I remove that, it no longer hides everything, right? This covers up each time it runs. We never see a completely blue background, but it does. Now, we do plane dot velocity y. This means the plane's velocity, y velocity, which was equal to negative 9 to start, has a new value. What is that new value? It's the old value plus 0 0.2. So it's new value then negative 9 plus 0 0.2 would be negative 8.75. Now we redraw the sprite with a y velocity moved over negative 8.75. I meant moved up negative 8.75 because this is 0, this is 400. And then moved over 3 because we have a 3 velocity. We then redraw and we blank out the background blue. We never see a blank background blue because how fast this runs, but it's blue. We then say, all right, a new velocity y value. What is it? It's the old one. Well, what did I just say it was? 8.5. So now negative 8.5. Now negative 8.5 plus 0 0.25 is negative. Oh, I meant negative 8.75 is the old one. And now plus 0.25, it's negative 8.5. Negative 8.5 up. 3 over, we draw it, we blank out the background, negative 8.5 plus 0 0.25 is negative 8.25 is the new value, and we keep going until it hits 0. Once this hits 0, we keep adding, so it'd be 0 0.25, draw it, and we start moving back down. But, uh, pretty cool. Onward.